Don't you just love a good love story? Oh wait, that's the wrong side. In Louise and Tabitha, two different cats from two different sides of town fall in love at first sight. Will they make it? Even though everything seems to be working against them, let's find out on books. Louise and Tabitha. Louise was a cat about town. Dashing, charming, perfectly suave. He lived unofficially at the fire station and had, since a daring rescue involving a very small Louise, a very shrill smoke alarm, and a very tall house. His tail still had the scorch marks. Luis liked to go visiting, as society cats do. Sometimes he'd travel in the fire truck. Everywhere he went, Luis was welcomed with open arms and leftovers. One night, after too much catnip and too many sardines, Luis was making his rounds when he took a wrong turn. He climbed a wall and saw Tabitha. Elegant, silky, perfectly sophisticated. Luis stopped. Tabitha stared. It was love, love from afar. Love under the spotlight of the moon. Love thwarted by a thick glass door and by Tabitha's owner. Shoo, she cried, shoo. Louise shooed, but he wasn't done. The next morning, Tabitha stared out at a vast bouquet of sardine tins and twine and feathers. Louise smiled. Tabitha smiled. Tabitha's owner did not smile. Shoo, she cried, shoo. Louise shooed, but he wasn't done. The next day, he brought mice. The day after that, he brought pigeons. And after that, balloons, which is not easy when you're a cat. Each day, Luis and Tabitha stared into each other's eyes until Tabitha's owner chased Luis away. Luis needed advice. He asked his friends over a bowl of cream you're an outside cat, said Mr. Pickles. And you need to be an inside cat, said Socks. Or at least look like one, said One-Eyed Winky. Luis had an idea. The next day, Louise showed up at Tabitha's door once more. Louise smiled. Tabitha smiled. Tabitha's owner clutched her hands to her heart and opened the door. Louise was inside, where everything was soft and warm and scratchable. And Louise and Tabitha were inseparable. until the doorbell rang. Is this him? That's him. And Luis and Tabitha were thwarted by the thick glass door once more. Luis had a new home and a new name and a new owner. 
and all the sardines and cheese he could eat. <sighs> but all he wanted was Tabitha. And all Tabitha wanted was Luis. It was love, love from afar. Love from far too afar. Then the doorbell rang. Is this him? That's him. And that's not him. And Luis was a cat about town once more. Luis needed advice. He asked his friends over a bowl of cream. You're an outside cat, said Mr. Pickles. And she's an inside cat, said Socks. And that's just the way it is, said One-Eyed Winky. So Luis went visiting, as society cats do. He went visiting all across town. Everywhere he went, he was welcomed with open arms and leftovers. And everywhere he went, Tabitha wasn't. Until... One night, Luis was riding in the fire truck when his tail began to tingle. Luis saw Tabitha, elegant, silky, perfectly sophisticated, and in terrible danger. The sirens began to wail. Everyone, outside, cried the firefighters. The crowd was a cloud of arms and shrieks as it gathered on the corner. But there was no Tabitha. And suddenly, there was no Luis. The crowd waited and worried and fretted. Finally, the gray parted and from it emerged Luis and Tabitha, leading Tabitha's owner. The crowd cheered. Tabitha's owner plopped down on the curb and clutched her hands to her heart. She looked at Luis and Tabitha and smiled. The cat show judge placed a blue ribbon on Tabitha and the firefighters placed a gold medal on Luis and declared them both perfectly heroic. Luis was back inside, where everything was soft and warm and scratchable. And Luis and Tabitha were inseparable. Now that just warms my little heart. Even cats deserve love. My favorite part of the story is when he comes to her with a bouquet of sardines and feathers stuffed with rope. It's kind of funny because if you were actually gonna give it to a lady, you'd probably give them roses, but in cat life, apparently that's what you'd do.